Okay, this is the second step in setting up the Cairo Pro Prime theme. Um, in the last video, we had a WordPress install with the 2020 WordPress theme on it. Um, we went ahead and installed and activated the Cairo Pro Prime theme. There's two more things that we need to do. Uh, we need to install the required plugin and we also need to activate the theme license. So it's really easy. We're just going to go to our dashboard. You can see right at the top, you should have a notification. Um, asks you to, it says required plugin is the Kirky Customizer Framework. Um, begin installing plugin, just hit the button. Um, you're going to click install. Here it says it was successfully installed. Uh, we can return to the plugin installer and we're going to activate. Right, you can see that it says the following plugin was activated successfully. If we actually go to the plugins page, we could see that we'll see that here. Next, we'll go to appearance and we'll go to themes and we'll click theme license. All right, so we're just going to paste our theme license in here. Um, you should have got it in your email um, with the download. If for some reason you don't have your license or you didn't get the email, all you need to do is go to um, WP Clinic Themes. All right, you can click on customer login, use the email that you used to um, sign up and purchase your theme. Um, it'll take you to the purchase history. Um, from the purchase history, you can just select your download, click this button, and it will take you here where you can see your download. You can see right here, if you click on your download, it'll pull up another download link in case you have to ever download that again. Um, but also you'll get your theme license here. Just double click it, copy, go back to the theme license page. We're gonna paste this in and hit save changes. You can see that the license key is active, tells you when it expires, tell you how many licenses you have, but that's all there is to it. And what that'll allow you to do is get your updates. So for now on, whenever you go to the updates page, if there's an update for the theme, it'll show right here under themes and it's just a one-click update. That's all there is to it. You're all set up.